Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge pattern change that'll bring a very interesting storm to the United States this week. This could bring the risk for severe weather, additional flooding and much warmer temperatures across a large chunk of the United States. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the central plan which is really where our only active weather is ongoing today. We do have a very weak low pressure system that's attempting to develop and what this is going to do over the next 24 to 48 hours it's going to move off to the east initially and it will actually bring the threat for some severe weather both later today and as well as into tomorrow. We actually could see some significant severe weather tomorrow across portions of the east coast which is something that we've really not seen much of all recently. Further off to the north we do have a high pressure that's dominating and this is going to slowly shift down to the south and east that's why that low pressure system will start to race off to the east and bring the risk for some severe weather over that direction otherwise it's fairly dry on the southeast united states though it is very humid we are not really seeing any precipitation out there as high pressure is dominating across a large chunk of the southeast united states but this is all due to the jet stream the jet stream is in a very interesting spot right now because really it's not positioned like a normal jet stream during the month of may what we really have right now is a jet stream that's further up here to the north and you'll notice down here, this is your high pressure system in the upper levels. That's basically preventing shower and storm development in the southeast, even though at the surface, it is very humid. And then once we go through the next few days, you'll notice this jet stream just stays off to the east. And when you see all those colors like the red and purple, that's indicating very strong upper level winds. We're not really seeing any of that in the United States. There's just no organized systems. However, an interesting storm will start to develop later this week in the northern plains, believe it or not. And this will actually be our next chance for at least some sort of organized event of severe weather. So this is going to Friday morning. We'll have a positively tilted trough develop back up in the northern plains. You'll notice the stronger upper level winds across the Midwest. That could actually help to create more longevity with any supercells that do end up developing either late Thursday or as well as into Friday, which that is why we might actually see some severe weather then. And then once we go into late Friday through Saturday, that low pressure system does continue to slowly move off to the east. Still, upper level winds are somewhat strong, so we could see some severe weather over that direction and eventually going through the weekend and into early next week things become much more uncertain since we are just so far out but that at least that little storm there we have more certainty on that now when we look at the humidity i already mentioned this the dew points are very high in the southeast near the surface you'll notice this entire area there where we have the blues and as well as the purples that's indicating dew points for the most part above 60 to 65 degrees so again it is very humid in the southeast but we have a high pressure system dominating the region keeping temperatures aloft a bit warmer we're kind of creating a cap essentially in place across the southeast once we go through this week though you'll notice those dew points do shift to the south that is with that high pressure system that'll start to shift a bit further down to the south that'll essentially create somewhat drier air across areas that have already seen very humid air over the last several days like the ohio valley and as well as the central plains but that will not last for long because again we'll have that low pressure system develop back up in canada and the northern plains this is where we'll see a pretty decent increase in dew points not something that's huge but it will be enough of an increase to to potentially at least see some precipitation or maybe some severe weather so going through thursday and as well as into friday dew points start to kind of get up into the mid to upper 50s and low 60s again this is not impressive for severe weather however further down to the south with this cold front you'll notice the dew points are higher into the central and southern plains this will have to be an area to watch for if there's no cap in place or at least if the cap is weak we might end up seeing some severe weather down this direction especially with how much buoyancy we have as well and as well as the instability availability so all in all, there's more ingredients in place further down to the south in comparison to the Midwest where the dew points are not going to be that high. Now, once we go through Friday afternoon and evening, they do increase a little bit. They might get near 60, which is enough for severe weather, but it's probably going to remain somewhat isolated to maybe widely scattered. So again, if you're anywhere in this area, just be on alert later this week. There will be a chance for some severe weather. To what degree that is, it's still a little bit uncertain, but we'll keep you posted with the latest details there. And for the future radar over the next several days, I already mentioned over the central United States that is where a low pressure system is very weak but it's located there that is going to bring a little bit of rain and maybe a few severe storms over the next 24 to 36 hours that'll move into areas like the mid-Atlantic later into Tuesday I'll talk about more details on that severe weather event in a moment once we go through Wednesday and Thursday for the most part the United States will be dry but once we go into Thursday into Friday notice this low pressure system that is where we might see some severe weather and that could include areas not just in the Midwest but also back down through the southern plains we'll have two different areas 
series to watch for for at least some severe weather i keep saying some because we're not really looking at a full-blown severe weather outbreak it's just a threat for at least some severe weather there once we go through friday into saturday severe storms potentially going to move through areas in the mid-atlantic regions maybe the northeast but for the most part again it would remain a very low risk at this point and I'll show you the severe weather potential in just a moment, but I did want to mention the instability. That's one of the key ingredients for severe weather. It's like gasoline into a vehicle. It's what helps to fuel severe storms to be able to develop. And you'll notice going into Thursday and Friday, again, the instability is much, much higher across the southern plains. But look back up into the Midwest. You barely see anything on the map. That really in indicates that there's really little to no instability. So the overall threat of severe weather does seem like it'll be much lower in the Midwest. But again, things can change a little bit here and there, especially this far out so we'll keep you posted with any new changes there also the low level jet this is definitely a very important ingredient because we're looking at the potential for low level rotation with any supercells that develop and it actually increases quite decently in the midwest you'll notice this is friday night the low level jet gets upwards of 25 to 35 knots now that's not the strongest low level jet we've ever seen but it is enough for maybe at least a conditional tornado risk in the midwest so that'll be definitely something to watch out for but for those in the southern plains it does not seem like we'll see much of that It'll probably be more of a hail of damaging wind threat for those in the southern plains. Now let's talk about that severe weather potential in the short term. Beginning with tomorrow, believe it or not, this actually could be a bit of an interesting setup, even though this is an area that we typically don't see severe weather that often. You'll notice there is a slight risk of severe weather right now for Virginia, as well as Kentucky, Tennessee, even South and North Carolina are all included in that threat for severe weather. The main concerns will be damaging winds. That's going to be really the biggest concern. There will also be a threat for some large hail so for the most part 60 to 70 mile per hour damaging winds hail up to maybe golf ball size may occur with a storm or two but for the most part it's gonna be around change size tail there's also gonna be a conditional tornado risk if any storms can become discreet we actually could see maybe a couple tornadoes so this will be an interesting area to watch tomorrow again it's a bit of an interesting setup because we do actually have enough of a low level jet with this little low pressure system we actually could see at least a little bit of severe weather out of it for the timing for tomorrow there will be some severe storms as early as like 10 to 11 a.m but they, for the most part severe weather will start to ramp up just after lunchtime so those in knoxville as well as pikeville back through johnson city be on alert right around lunchtime tomorrow by two to three o'clock those storms move off to the east and again if any of these do become discreet the tornado risk will be a bit higher all i'm expecting for the tornado risk is brief and weak tornadoes i'm not looking at anything long tracked at this current time for tomorrow once we get closer to five to six o'clock storms continue to move off to the east so areas like richmond virginia back through raleigh be on alert there might be some severe storms by then by eight to nine o'clock in the evening those storms continue continue to move off to the east and then eventually going into the overnight hours maybe one more area of storms that would be primarily gusty winds if anything out of that before the last slide i did want to mention that we officially have a green screen studio at the max velocity studios and this is something that we've been working on for the last few months and it looks amazing the lighting is very high quality and the green screen as well i just wanted to mention thank you so much for your support all this would not be possible without you but you'll notice the last day of severe weather in the short term is wednesday we currently have a marginal risk of severe weather that's primarily going to be for damaging winds and large hail for those across the southern and central plains. We'll be using more of this in our live streams more than anything. Video forecast, maybe a little bit here and there, but that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair.